Lethbridge residents still rely on restaurants to be able to escape their kitchens every once in a while. Some use delivery apps, but many residents prefer to pick up their food themselves. For Lighthouse Japanese restaurant owner Ryan Squire, adjustments had to be made to the way he operated his business. We had to change our menu a little bit. Um, there were certain things that we just can't do for takeout, and since we didn't have dine-in service, there was no point in having those. One of the changes required steaks to be taken off the menu as they couldn't be served at top quality. But with the restrictions, there were also trade-offs, including being able to sell alcohol with delivery. That also meant pubs were able to stay in business. Hudson's Pub is one of them. Like other establishments, Hudson's also had to adjust. One of the changes it had to make was limiting the amount of fresh product kept on hand. Operating partner Jesse Dixon says it was a big learning curve when Hudson's went takeout and delivery only as they were only doing 20% of the sales done under normal circumstances. So on top of our regular menu, which we, we kept the whole time, trying to give options to people, um, we added like liquor kits that people could take home and, and do uh, build at home liquor uh, cocktails. They also have packaged products that are kits, like an all inclusive kit for the NHL season, which has some swag, snack, and food items, as well as some alcoholic drinks. The measures taken by these restaurants may not have to stay in place for very long, since the provincial government is easing restrictions on dining service starting on February 8th. Alejandra Pulido, E News.